Welcome Year 8 to your lesson on Shakespeare. Here is a picture showing what the theatre would look like during Shakespeare's day. Here is a picture of the Globe Theatre today in London. Shakespeare audiences. In 1600, London theatres, like the Globe, could take up to 3,000 people for the most popular plays. With several theatres offering plays most afternoons, this meant between 10,000 and 20,000 people a week going to London theatres. Everyone in London society went to the theatre. Generally, though, more men than women. So how much did it cost? The cheapest price was one penny and this was placed in the groundlings. The audience was stand in the yard around the stage. The groundlings was very close to the performance on stage. The audience didn't sit in silence. Instead, they clapped the heroes and booed the villains. The audience in the groundlings could wander around and talk and eat during the performance. In contrast, the most expensive seats were found in the Lord's Rooms. This was found in the indoor theatre where prices started at six pence. One penny was only the price of a loaf of bread during Shakespeare's day. So if you compare that to today's prices, the low cost was one reason the theatre was so popular. Today, the place where you buy your theatre tickets is called the box office. In Shakespeare's day, as people came into the theatre or climbed the steps to their seats, audiences had to put their money in a box. So the place where audiences pay became known as the box office. Your task. Please see your task today. Set an email and in Microsoft Teams about Shakespeare audiences. Thank you for listening.